One, two, three, four, five. Omnipod 5 is here! I am wearing the Omnipod Orange, and this can only mean one thing. We talk at Omnipod. Omnipod 5 has just been approved by the American FDA. In this video, I am breaking down everything that you need to know about the Omnipod 5, how it works, and a lot more. Hey, it's Camille, Nerdabetic. If you're new here, I make videos about diabetes tech. So, so, so glad to have you. Make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on all things diabetes tech. So obviously Omnipod 5 is the newest pod from Inchlet, but it's also the first Omnipod under the new naming convention. A couple of months ago, I interviewed Omnipod CEO, Shacey Petrovic, and she explained this to me. Question about just the number five. I'm mm -hmm. curious, does that mean this is the fifth generation of Omnipod or where did the number five come from? Well, you're exactly right. It is the fifth generation of Omnipod. And I think, you know, because we don't have that typical naming convention, people sometimes are not aware of how much innovation has happened in the right. pipeline and the fact that there have been five generations of Omnipod. Omnipod 4, i.e. Omnipod Dash, to Omnipod 5 is the biggest update to Omnipod ever. Omnipod 5 integrates with the Dexcom G6 CGM and it is a hybrid closed loop system. Omnipod 5 connects to the Dexcom G6 sensor directly, which is huge. Put on your pod, you put on your Dexcom and, um, and you go into automated mode where you're in closed loop control and then you can kind of go on to your day. So you can go for a run or take a shower or take a nap, whatever it is you wanna do and stay in closed loop control and get the benefit of closed loop control. You really only need your handheld controller, um, you know, what you're controlling the system with uh, to announce a meal. Omnipod 5 has a customizable glucose target between 110 and 150 milligrams per deciliter. So you can set the system to keep you at 110 in the night or 130 during the day and adjust as you wish. A key feature of Omnipod 5 is exercise powered by the Hypo Protect technology for times such as exercise. In the Hypo Protect mode, Omnipod 5 targets 150 milligrams per deciliter. Omnipod 5 can predict your blood glucose level 60 minutes in advance and every five minutes it adjusts your background, your basal insulin delivery according to your glucose level. So it can give you additional insulin or less insulin or stop insulin delivery based on the current glucose and the 60 minute prediction. Dexcom integration does not stop here because Omnipod 5 is equipped with a first of its kind smart bolus calculator. It takes into account not only glucose value but also glucose trend. So if your glucose is on the higher side and trending high, smart bolus calculator with an Omnipod 5 will intelligently suggest an appropriate insulin dose, taking into account the glucose trend, so you don't have to worry about it. So when you need to control Omnipod 5, how do you do it? Well, this is very exciting. Omnipod 5 can be controlled with a PDM or a dedicated smartphone app. At launch, Omnipod 5 is compatible with Samsung Galaxy S10 with Android 11, with more Android phones expected very shortly. This is absolutely massive news as this is FDA's first ever phone control approval. This is huge. And this is years ahead of Tandem. They are expecting approval of their phone bolus feature in the next couple of months. But this is full phone control. So with the Omnipod 5 app on Samsung Galaxy S10, you will not only be able to bolus, but you will also be able to control all other parts of the Omnipod 5 system, including starting a new pod, pausing a pod, checking its status, absolutely everything. Full phone control is here, everyone. Eventually, Omnipod 5 will also be controlled with an iPhone as Inchlet is working on an iOS version as well. Timings of the iPhone control capability are unknown as of now. If you don't want to use your Android phone at launch or you have an iPhone, you can also control Omnipod 5 with a dedicated PDM. If you lose your phone, switch your phone, switch from PDM to phone or phone to PDM, 
all of your settings are not transferable as of recording this video. I really hope that they will improve on this going forward. For now, Inchlet recommends regularly backing up your settings with their Inchlet provided Gluco. It is also worth mentioning that each pod can be connected to one device. So you can either control your pod with a PDM or your, as of recording, Android smartphone. So you cannot use both, which makes perfect sense. Omnipod 5 is an incredibly intelligent and smart system and it has artificial intelligence built in. Omnipod 5 automatically looks at your long-term trends and it updates your settings. It is like having an endocrinologist in your pocket. So when can you get it? Well, Omnipod 5 is now approved and authorized by the FDA and it is now available in a limited market launch in the US. What about UK and Europe? Well, when I interviewed Tracy Petrovic, CEO and President of Inchlet Home of Omnipod, she confirmed that Inchlet is committed to bringing Omnipod 5 technology to Europe, but couldn't provide any timelines. And European approval and launch timelines are currently unknown as of this recording. Omnipod 4, i.e. Dash, was FDA approved in June of 2018 and CE marked in September of 2019. Now, this time around with Omnipod 5, I am expecting a shorter window of approval gap between US and Europe. Either way, I can't wait. So that's Omnipod 5. It's the biggest upgrade to Omnipod ever. As a proud podder myself, I am so, so, so incredibly excited about Omnipod 5. If you want to learn more about Omnipod, I had the honor and pleasure of interviewing Shacey Petrovic, the CEO and president of Inchlet, home of Omnipod, in October last year. You can see that video up here. It has a lot of information about Omnipod 5, so you can see that and a lot more uh, in that video. So I hope you enjoy that as well. Let me know if you have any questions about Omnipod 5. I will try my best to answer them or find out for you in the comments. And to let me know what you think about Omnipod 5. I will see you in the next one. Bye! When I think about the next few years, uh, I think there's a tremendous opportunity for continued innovation for people with diabetes. And um, we see the opportunity to just continue to drive more and more simplicity. And we will do that through um, integration with consumer technology. We will do that with uh, artificial intelligence and being able to eliminate the amount of interaction that a user has to have with their technology and to get more predictive and more intuitive. You know, our goal is for a user to be able to put on a pod, put on their sensor of choice, you know, and be off to the races successfully managing their uh, diabetes, maybe with just one parameter entered, you know, maybe you just enter your weight and we can, you know, we can go from there. We want to do as much of the math, the tech, you know, the calculations, the burden, the work that you, my father and others are doing every day. We want to take that work away and make the technology do that work and make your life um, able to be focused on, you know, everything that you love and less focused on managing and navigating your diabetes. So that's our goal. And we see, um, you know, the opportunity for multiple iterations on Omnipod 5 to drive more and more and more simplicity and less and less and less burden for people living with diabetes.